Hello, today we're going to be testing a pair of $10 headphones that, I mean, I've been using for a bit, versus a pair of $100 headphones, well these are earbuds, headphones, and see how well they work. Now, both of which I've had around for a while, so I don't know exactly if this is $100 or not, but at the time that I got this, it was, uh, and I've been using both for... Not a long time, but I want to take today out to, to pretty much go through and test them each individually, compare them next to each other, compare which one I like better, how the sound sounds on each, and of course which one are. So this is a pair of Zenheister headphones. I will have the, um, the HD598SE, and these are some Skull Candy headphones. I have no idea what the name are. So we're going to test them. We're going to see which one is better and uh, figure out what the pros and cons of each are and of course which one you should get. Now obviously I don't know if this is really $100 and if it's $100 this is not the most practical thing to be going around with. But let's test sound shall we? So to start off the biggest thing that I would say is that this really does sound clear like it's really nice and clear and it's really easy to hear as well like it's like, you know, it's not like you're struggling to understand exactly what's being said. It's, like, really crisp. And I like the fact that it's really crisp, I guess. Um, one of the big things I'm not such a big fan of is, as you can tell, you don't look the best when you have them on. Um, it doesn't look casual. And I'm sure if you brought these to school or something, I'm sure you're going to totally not get picked on for your lovely use of style. I mean, some people can pull it off, but, I mean, mostly this is not something you want to bring to school because it's definitely quite bulky. Now, as I said, sound quality, it's really good. Sound quality, it's fine, like, if you're, you know, I don't know, I use it for editing videos so that I can hear exactly what's being said when I'm, you know, modifying some stuff. But, um, the biggest thing for me is with these, it's very crisp, but it's kind of bulky and, of course, not something you want to bring around everywhere. So now let's move to the earbuds and see what the earbuds sound like. So the funny thing about this is I definitely would say that the bass is a little bit stronger in these. One of the big things with these though is also you can hear really well if something's being said outside of the, you know, while you're, um, I don't know, for example, off, um, you know, if someone comes talk to you, you can still leave these on and hear what they're saying. With these... I can't even, like, I hardly can hear, like, I have, yeah, it's really hard to hear anything else outside of, you know, what's being in the headphones, I guess, what's blasting out of the headphones. And, I mean, these are really good for being quiet if you just want to hear. The other thing is the bass is really strong. I will say that it's not anywhere close to as crisp as what you're looking for, um, because right now, this is not really anywhere close to, you know, that crisp sound that you were getting from, of course, the headphones, which is kind of funny because... These are, you know, of course, earbuds, and they should not be up to the same amount of, you know, I mean, the bass could be a little bit better in these, but of course, this is extremely crisp, and it's really nice that you can hear exactly what's going on. Uh, bass is not as strong, though, but these basses, you know, I guess too strong, and not really, you know, really hard to kind of understand, and you're really kind of hard to hear what's going on. So, overall, would I say the $10 headphones are worth the, anywhere close to those I'd probably say it's kind of a good compromise I guess I feel like the quality though the, the, the amount of quality difference and like the crispness so you really it's really noticeable especially when you switch in between them that this is really not as crisp if you're really into one of those people that's really into bass and you could probably get these and you'd be fine um, and of course if you just listen to them without you know having listened to something a little bit nicer you would probably wouldn't probably notice but for these especially because now they're a little bit older and you could probably get them pretty cheap i think that a they're a really nice crisp sound quality especially for when you're doing something where you really need to hear exactly what's being said what's going to be put out and also to keep in mind if you're ever doing content creation that not everybody is listening to the same thing you are so you might want to try it on a couple of different you know platforms and stuff i'm not doing that i'm too lazy but you get the general idea that why these, you know, headphones, $10 headphones, are not anywhere close to the $100 ones. I mean, for, but for the quality amount, though, like, these are nice enough quality that I consider that they're worth the money if you want to have something that's, you know, good to go around, walk around with, and, you know, talk with people and have something in your ear that's not, you know, too, you know, completely outraged in size. And you're pretty good. But for this, I'd say that, as I said, I prefer 
this for when I'm at home, when no one's really going to see me, and when I'm just editing my videos, I can put this on, listen to stuff, and not have to worry about, you know, what's going on. And of course I can hear exactly what's being said. When I put this on, pretty much the same thing if I'm talking right now. Like I can hear clicks, I can do all this stuff, and I can still hear exactly what's being said. But with those, it's really hard to hear anything, and especially when you're at home. And when I'm at home at least, and I'm trying to, you know, work with stuff, with some stuff I really shouldn't hear, if something breaks or something, I should kind of hear that before I get too far into some of the projects I do. Uh, especially when I'm listening to music. Usually I have it playing over my speakers though when I'm working on projects, not really dragging headphones around. But as I said, for the editing part, I feel like it's a really good editing crisp sound. And it's really good to have multiple things open to you know hear multiple things while you're editing, I guess. So that's going to wrap up for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Apologize I couldn't please your senses. And um, yeah, so if you're interested in the kind of stuff we do around here, make sure you check out the channel. And um, yeah, I've got to uh, do a little bit more testing and stuff. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be the same thing, and that's why I use these. Uh, the model for these is the HD598SE, and I've had these for quite a good bit. So they might not really be $100 anymore. But at the time I got them, that's what they were. And so I will arguably say that's what they will well, title the video. But um, as for quality-wise, though, they're pretty sturdy, and they actually feel pretty nice. And I really have no reason to upgrade whatsoever. So I think they're pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, so thank you all for watching. Hope to see you around. And goodbye.